we still have a need to get more data from different locations. So that's why we should uh, encourage more plots involved, more people involved. We're about the latitude of northern Florida here in central eastern China. The interesting thing about this forest is it's about three times as diverse as an equivalent forest in Alabama or Georgia or Florida. Different uh, types of ecosystems might have different response to the same climate change. So we should have good coverage of different kind of species and ecosystems. One of the opportunities that's arisen out of the climate partnership supported by HSBC has been our opportunity at the Smithsonian to work with Earthwatch. That's created an interesting set of possibilities to work in not only our, our primary forest plots, these giant plots, but also to work in landscapes that have been managed by humans. We're working with Earthwatch to span this gradient of human managed landscapes through to what we call old growth forests. Today's work is uh, measure DBH and uh, coordinate and uh, identi identify species and tag the individual. The role that Earthwatch plays is to bring volunteers together with scientists to increase the rate of uh, scientific data acquisition. And of course we need the highest quality science to help us understand the changes that are happening in the world and so there's a strong collaboration between science and people. So this is a forest that was logged around 50 years ago and the climate champions they were tagging the trees so uh, numbering, labelling each individual stem. They were plotting the locations of the trees, uh, they were measuring the diameter and then with the help of a local taxonomist, a local guide, they were noting down the species of that tree. The slope is deep, so you have to be uh, careful. Gutiansen Reserve, there the slope is very steep. On average, it's about a 30 degree. Uh, uh, some area is more is steeper, uh, like uh, 45 or 50 degree. It's very difficult. It's not a walk in the park. This citizen science component. Volunteers come out to the forest and really get a grasp on the science. But it also results in valuable data to understand climate change impacts on forests. And is then used for modelling of how climate change will affect forests and how we can manage forests in the future uh, to help mitigate the impacts of climate change. The prospects for long-term partnerships with Earthwatch really appeals to us because we're working in lots and lots of countries where we would like to get citizen scientists involved with the plot network. And I think uh, early indications are that indeed volunteers can uh, really help to, to accelerate the rate of data collection and to uh, learn about forests uh, in a very hands-on way. So I'm very hopeful for the future that that collaboration and partnership can continue. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Bringing all these data sets together from the Climate Partnership, from Earthwatch, from the Smithsonian, from all these plots in primary forest, in degraded forest, human managed forest, our work in the tropics, our work in the temperate zone with big scale monitoring of forests will lead us to some very, very important outcomes. The first and perhaps most important outcome is that this research is going to help us understand how increasing CO2 in the atmosphere is going to affect forest growth. Are forests going to grow faster on account of this increasing CO2? Or are increasing temperatures, which are happening at a global scale, going to slow tree growth rates and therefore reduce the amount of carbon that forests can take up? Those are the key questions, and our research will help answer both of those questions.